Hey there, Big Thirsty. I can't drink all this lemonade by myself, silly guy. Well, then we got work to do, baby. <laughs> this is a teaching moment. Hey guys, welcome to the show. It's Hesiod once again. Today I don't have a meme deck for you. It's a serious one that I've got in stock and it's a really good one. Believe me, just take a look at my win rate before recording. And I'm pretty sure after recording it might be even better because I actually figured out how to play it. So um, I'm not going to give a deck description. The deck description is going to be in the info box up here or in the uh, description down below, okay? As soon as I record it, you can check it out and see what I have to say about the deck. You might think Hesiod is a filthy, filthy secret mage player. Yes, I am. I love secrets. They are awesome, I think. And with the new set, we got Oasis Ally, which is an insanely strong secret, at least in Standard. In Wild, it doesn't see that much play, which is kind of amazing to me. I think it's a really strong secret that can support Secret Mage even better in Wild, but maybe it's too board-focused and Wild doesn't revolve that much about board. Maybe that is the case, I don't know. But in Standard, it's really strong. So I tried to make it work and it turned out to be a really good secret. Just give the deck a try, okay? The deck code is as always in the description below. Try it out, you can uh, play around with it. It's just a first try more or less and it seems to be really strong. The only weakness it has is against Paladin and against Face Hunter. But you just do stand a chance against those guys because we do have stuff like Brain Freeze or uh, Firebrand which can take care of their boards. So let's have a look at the gameplay and see if it can hold up what it's promising. Okay, something weird going on here. I just mulliganed. Okay, so I guess we mulligan again. Sure. Okay, so we kind of hope that this pulls Oasis Ally because we don't want it to be triggered so we can play the Conjurer on full. There's a Firebrand, that's cool. Not necessarily great, but cool enough. It's okay. We want a 2-drop. That's not a 2-drop. So we're gonna hit face. Okay, it's kind of fine, I guess. Do we just go Rick Fair? No, he's not gonna ping our face. We okay, we hit the Rick Fair game anyway, which means we will draw cards if he doesn't trigger it. Uh, if he triggers it, no, if he doesn't trigger it. But if he doesn't trigger it, we can just go with the Conjurer. If he does trigger it, okay, that's fine. What have they done to me? Okay, he didn't, which means that we just get to draw cards, which is fine. We didn't get anything that we need, though, which sucks. We really can't do this. Hmm. I guess we just play this. There is an Oasis ally and a Ruined Orb. Hmm, we got this to kill that thing off next turn. So we do already have two ruined orbs, I'm just gonna go with the Oasis ally. We missed Archaeologist, we missed Game Master, we missed a lot of stuff. So there's a Game Master, we're gonna play that. question is, do we play Rigged Fair Game or do we play Oasis Ally? We are going to empty our hands, so Rigged Fair Game might be better. And he's most likely going to ping that off. 
Or maybe he just packs his blasts uh, the face. Mm, that hurts. Get another one. Okay, so the Rick Fair game is going to go off. Hmm. Okay, how are we going to go about this? The thing is, that's a lot of damage. And we don't actually want to take that, do we? So... Do we fireball that? I doubt that that's a good idea. Maybe we just go double secret here. Yeah, let's just do that for the time being. Okay, that has to die. And we can do so. It hurts, but we have to do it, so... We're gonna do this. And we're going to broom, for sure. So that will take it to five. I wonder. That will make it six. Hmm. That's just too scary can't take off this so we're not going to we are really unlucky with the draws here okay we can test for that that's not too bad That sucks, though. So there's the Oasis ally, finally. <laughs> okay. What do we want to be counted? Most likely the brain freeze, right? So we're gonna brain freeze this. It's gonna get countered, but we knew that. That's fine. Hmm. Freezing that seems like a plan, right? So we have to ping that off. So this is going to be an ice barrier, right? No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna play around the o Oasis ally and just go face. We have to kill him here. As soon as possible. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay, do we just play Solarian here? Yes. If it's mirror entity though. It's a Paxis Blast, please face. Thank you. That's great. That doesn't matter. So we don't care about the Oasis ally. He's at 13, we can kill him next turn. Hopefully.
Yeah, it's very likely that we can kill him. Unless he has some kind of freeze. Okay, we can... Oh, okay, we got, he got countered. That's it. Although we had a very slow start, we still got there. Against mages, against spell mages, this is just a good deck, guys, believe me. Okay, we got the Oasis ally. Against the hunter, I actually think we're gonna keep that. We might think about keeping the smuggler. Do we keep the smuggler? It's a threat. And it's something on board with the ally. Now nah, I want brain freeze. Or... Okay, that's maybe better. We got the brain freeze too, so... And the archaeologist. Things are coming together. We might just win against this hunter. So he's gonna go initiate here. Let me work my magic. Right? No, he's doing something. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're still gonna go with this. Next turn, we're not going to ally. We, we have to take care of this because he did this because he wants to uh, adorable infestation that. Okay, he didn't. But that's still fine. We want to take care of that for sure. So we're gonna go Solarian and Brain Freeze. We drew a lot of secrets, which is not great. There is the initiate. That's really bad. So he wants to play a spell next turn, right? Oh, um. Yep, we're gonna play the ally into the one thief. He's gonna attack into this, most likely. And Ice Barrier might be the saving grace against a hunter. The others weren't that great. Although maybe I should have thought about the... Yeah, there's an adorable infestation. Maybe I should have thought about the mirror entity. Okay. Got the... So next turn we can ping. And take this off board. And we can play secret, and it's going to be Netherwind, because this is not going to uh, trigger against the Hunter. Oh, early Solarian Prime here. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, he might Rhino this, but the Rhino will be frozen at least. We drew really heavy here, that's really unfortunate. So we develop something on board. Hopefully it's big. And hope we hope that it has taunt. It's engine? Ah, uh, okay. That's the big problem about this secret. A lot of times you just get three threes. Okay, he is running that. That is very strange. That seems very strange to me. He's just going face, okay. So we're gonna do this, and do we go, yeah, we want to gain some life here. And I'm gonna hit face because we have to start hitting face, also it uh, denies him Rindling's rifle. Okay, there's the Rhino, he's going to hit the, yes, he's doing that. So he's gonna give us some life. That's nice. Thank you. So that's another cup he's playing here. Yeah, there's the cup. So. I mean, we have to play this. We drew really bad this game. So the Rhino, we can take care of the Rhino next turn. It, it's still frozen. 
And we have the Solarian in two turns. Another 3-3. Three, three. Okay, we got really unlucky with the four drops here. And he got the other one. That's really unfair, man. Okay. Okay, we have to kill the Rhino here. We still have ch we still have a chance. He's got three damage, five with the thing, and next turn we're just gonna Solarian. Okay, Solarian, save us, sis. Okay, we're at thirteen. That still might be enough. All right, come on, sis. Be a deary, save us. That's good. Ah, uh, oh, not that one yet. Okay. Oh, that's nice. What is that? Mirror entity. Okay. We are quite low. We don't care about this, I think. We don't know what kind of poison that is, but we have 15 damage, and next turn he might be dead. And he's top decking. So we might have this actually in the back, although we did draw very bad. Okay, he is both. No, he's not out of rhinos, he still has a rhino. But it doesn't really matter because we have enough damage to kill him. We have the fireball. He's at 19. That's fine. He's dead. Alright, let's go. And there we go. Well played, my friend. Okay. Against the Demon Hunter. This is where the Oasis ally is really insane if we can get it. So we don't want to keep any of these. There is the Oasis ally. So we might actually... You are an interesting foe. Hello. Okay, we don't know if he's lifesteal or whatever, we, we just don't know. But we're gonna, um, the plan here is, we are not going to play a 2-drop or anything, he's just going face, that's fine. We can come back from that. We're not gonna play anything, we're gonna play the ally next turn. And then we're gonna follow up with the conjurer. Okay, we already took a lot of damage, but as I said, it's it doesn't really matter that much. We will take off in the very near future. This is also freeze, it doesn't have to deal 3 damage to something. It's not necessarily what we need. There is the and that weapon is going to be denied. We could think about coining out the one thief, but ah uh, there is no need to, I think. So we developed a, an 8-8. Eight eight. We'll right okay, he is a um, bronchitis. I call it bronchitis. So there's the Oasis ally. So we're gonna... Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good by him. So I am actually going to do this here. Hmm, these aren't great. This is card draw, this is card generation, but we are going to have a full hand. Look at what we all got. So let's go with this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Just put this out there. He used a false scream 
and we're gonna just deny his weapon. He might actually go with a bladed lady here just to take this off of Bob because it's so scary. We also got the burn, so he will die pretty soon. Hopefully. <laughs> it, 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 it's of course not guaranteed, but it's quite likely. I grow impatient. This secret, I tell you guys, Oasis ally is insane. He's still sharing that, that's fine. So we can generate some value here if we want to. So I don't care about this guy. Let's just generate some value. Yeah, there's another Oasis ally, just in case. There's a Snap Freeze, there's Ruined Orb. Do we want to trade, take the counter spell or the... Uh, these are all actually kind of fine. Let's take the Ruined Orb because it's damage. Are we going to deny his? Uh, do we take... Nah, I don't care about that guy. We have 8 plus 6 is 14. We don't have lethal next turn, but almost. That sucks. But it doesn't die. So we have 6 plus 6 is 12. We might just want to send that face. Or do we? Okay, let's just go with another Oasis ally. There's a deep freeze. Let's just take that, I guess. Let's just develop this. Let's just go face. So next turn he's just dead. The second fell scream saves him though. We still have a lot of damage though. We still have 17 on board. Yeah, he gave up. You see? Just a good deck. It's just a good deck. Play it and climb your ranks. I'm gonna stop now because I have to do stuff and whatever, but I climbed to rank 2 within a day with this. Play it and grab your stars, guys. I tell you, this is a good deck. Let's just see what my win rate is with this. 69%! Perfect! 69! Nice! Well, how did we perform? Actually, I'm sorry guys, I lied to you. I said we had a 69% win rate. Nice. It turned out to be a 70% win rate. I'm sorry I lied to you, but when I checked deck tracker, it said 69% and now I checked and wanted to put the pick up in the video as evidence that it's a good deck and it said 70%, but maybe it's not that nice, but it's also pretty nice. So, this is a strong deck. It can take advantage of the metagame right now. Give it a whirl, do what you gotta do, farm that stars, hit that legend rank, do whatever you want to. You can play around with the deck, by the way. I'm gonna point towards the deck description or the deck guide once again here. If you want to see what I have to say about the deck and how to play it, check it out. If you, you of course, don't have to. You can just make your own experiences. That is also fine. And one last word. Please don't judge me because I'm a secret mage player. I like secret mage. Not in wild. In wild, it's overpowered and not okay. But in standard, it's just strong and not the strongest deck. It's a top tier 2 deck, I would say. And that is why this is a cool deck you can play with. It's kind of a hipster deck. Just play it and have some fun. It is a lot of fun. You saw in the gameplay, you get to discover a lot of stuff. And that is just fun. It's just a cool deck. Give it a try. I have a request for you. If you like what I do and you feel like I helped you out, please consider liking and subscribing. It is just one click and it helps me out a lot. 
it is actually not that much about helping me out because this channel is not meant to grow or make money. It would be really stupid to think that and I am not that stupid. So in that regard, it is help for other people. You will help other people find help if you like and subscribe. But don't feel pressured to do so. Watching is support already enough. But if you want to take the extra step, I would really appreciate it. If you don't like what I do, go thumbs down. That is also feedback and help for me. So I can think about what I did wrong. And if you don't like what I do, just put it in the comments so I can do better next time. That would help me out helping other people out. And then everybody wins. So thanks so much for watching. And see you next time. Maybe.